it's your girl so you have a wedding you're not entirely sure what is the appropriate wedding guest outfit attire i'm gonna share with you no fail outfit ideas for your next wedding to wear as a guest that you can wear year after year and look absolutely amazing and slay so let's get into it Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru. I am talking wedding guest outfits today because I have a wedding to go to, the first one in literally over five years. It is my older brother. He is marrying the love of his life, Jasmine, and they are doing a destination wedding in Jamaica, Are, And I'm so, so excited, but I'm also like, what am I wearing? What are we wearing? What does one wear? So I wanted to talk about that today, sharing with you what I've been eyeing up, what I have been noticing are consistent, like go to, no fail, you can wear year after year pieces to a wedding as a wedding guest. And here's the thing, I am team, you do not need to buy a brand new piece for all the different special occasions. Life is the special occasion. And so really what I'm encouraging in this video is that you're mindful as you're looking at these pieces. Maybe you have something in your closet that can already work and maybe you just need to restyle it, repurpose it, or if you truly are like I have nothing, nothing to wear, you can look at pieces and think about not only how you'll wear them for maybe the upcoming wedding, but maybe you have future weddings or weddings in the next year, but even how you can wear on a day to day basis. Cause again, I am definitely not someone who buys things with the intent to only wear it once, like saving it for just a super special occasion. I like to have pieces that I can wear to work on the weekends to a special occasion. I love versatility. So that is what these outfits and these pieces are all about to help you get the most bang for your buck and have all kinds of outfit ideas. As always, if there's a piece you're loving, you must have it, gotta have it, need to wear it. I have got you. There are links in the description, in the description below. And of course, I will note not only if something is on sale, but if something is sold out, and if something is sold out, I will list something that's similar both in price, quality, and of course, style. I also do have a link rounding up my favorites of the picks because I have a couple of different categories. So in case maybe that specific piece isn't quite what you're looking for, but you want something, some other options, I've rounded those up for you too. Disclaimer, okay? Here is what I know about weddings. Here are like the non-negotiable must always follow rules. One is not to wear white. Don't know if that's still like a concrete thing, but don't do it. Don't be that girl. Do not be like, I'm gonna upstage the bride. Like if you have that energy, stay home. Be honest, just stay home. Like that's always your energy and your time. Don't be that person. Don't wear white. Don't wear off white. Don't wear cream. Don't be that girl. Don't do it. The second rule I would say is to dress just a little bit more conservatively. You're going to somebody who you love's special day. They're gonna have their family there, their mimas, their papas and little kids. So just dress a little bit more conservatively for that reason. It's not, I don't think it's a big request. I don't think it's a big ask. And if they do have a dress code, don't wear certain colors, don't wear certain patterns. Please respect that. It's not your day. I know you wanna look good and you deserve to look good, but it also isn't entirely about you on that day. So just keep, Keep that in mind. Starting with the go-to, the quintessential, you can never go wrong as a wedding guest is a dress, okay? A dress is the safest, easiest thing that you can go ahead and get that you will be able to repurpose for a lot of different events and things in your life. So what I would say is the go-to that will absolutely never go out of style, a slip dress. I have a whole video on how to choose slip dresses if you're pear-shaped, how to style slip dresses, how to look for different cuts, a slip dress is honestly just a classic and there's so many different styles out there that you will absolutely be able to find one that works for you. The biggest thing to keep in mind obviously is the cut. You want to do something I would say midi to maxi length and then of course just making sure that the top tastefully covers what you have. I know that can be hard if you have bigger boobs. Girl, I am envious of you but try your best to just Try your best to keep that in mind with a slip dress. It's so classic. The other style of dress that I feel like is an absolute no brainer, no fail, a good maxi dress, right? And there are so many different styles. And what I love about a maxi dress is it can be a moment no matter what. And both of these dresses will work no matter the type of wedding. You can easily accessorize one to dress it up and be a little bit more formal, or you can add some accessories, maybe more casual sandals, a more casual bag to make it more casual depending on depending on the attire that is requested, right? So a maxi dress is absolutely perfect. The two things you should keep in mind as you're looking at maxi dresses and you're considering a maxi dress, one is just the plunge, right? So if you have something that's lower plunge, like the zebra print one, what I do is I actually get eye hooks installed 
so that way I can make all of my more revealing dresses just a little bit more conservative for occasions just like that so keep that in mind if you have a dress like that you don't need to buy a new dress you could easily just add an iron hook it will be invisible and you can cover up the girlies and be a little more respectful for me mom and papa okay the other thing to keep in mind and this is more for your safety than anything is just how long the dress is. I look for dresses to touch the ground when I am barefoot. That way when I put on sneakers or heels, they're lifted off the ground because at a wedding you're gonna be dancing, having some drinks, having a good time, and if you have a dress that's a little bit long in trails, someone will probably step on it. You might accidentally rip something and it's just not a good vibe for anybody. So just keep that in mind again for your dress's sake and for your sake, you just wanna avoid an accident like that. The honorable mention dress, I feel like that needs to be shared, is a blazer dress. I feel like this is very overlooked. It can be more formal and I feel like this is actually perfect for a more formal wedding because it just instantly screams polish, it's tailored, it's put together, and you can accessorize it as you need. And the best part is you will get a lot of wear out of this outside of the wedding. So you can wear it open over a cute matching set. You can obviously dress it down with some sneakers, a big wide brim hat, be a boss lady. So there are a lot of different ways that a blazer dress would be a really great option for a wedding. If you're for doing more country style, again, you can dress it down if need be. You can add a really fun skirt underneath to make it a little more casual, a little bit more of a moment. So there are tons and tons of options for a blazer dress, which is why that is my honorable mention dress. The next no fail wedding guest outfit piece is a jumpsuit. This is so overlooked and I don't know why because honestly the downside with dresses is you have to worry about chafing and girl when you have thighs it is hot the chafe can be real. So do not overlook a jumpsuit. So I just wanted to show you this one don't do it in white but this style is so classic it's so elegant and it can go such a long way it will be comfortable and it will always look put together another option i had to go into the archives for this so do not judge the quality is something bold and bright like this so when you're thinking about a jumpsuit the great thing is there's so many options out there again that you can find one for your comfort levels if you feel like you don't want to have your arms out you're a little self-conscious about the arms which girl you should not be you can find a shorter, you can find a short sleeve style or even a long sleeve style. If you're okay having the arms out, you could do a thicker strap or a thinner strap depending on what you need. If you're worried about a little bit of belly, look for some with an elastized waist or even a cute little tie or bow because that can help cover any kinds of blotage and keep it comfortable and help you adjust as you sit and enjoy your meal at the wedding and a couple of drinks and get your groove on. And of course the length. So I will say the great thing about a lot of jumpsuits is they aren't overly long so you don't have to worry about them dragging but even if they are long the odds are is the only person who's going to accidentally step on the jumpsuit is you so it's a really really great option and for both the dresses and the jumpsuit just some ideas for layering if it's a more casual event go ahead and just rock a denim jacket no big deal super cute always classic if you want to be a little bit more feminine, a little more classic, go with a cardigan. That is always a safe bet. It's always clean. If you want to do something tailored, a little more classic, go with a blazer or a trench coat. Those are really great options to layer as it gets colder in the night or you're going from venue A to venue B. Some great coverage and again, just a very classic look. And if you want to do something a little bit edgy, a little more, a little more funky, a little more fun, a little more playful, leather jackets, moto jackets, colorful. It doesn't have to be black. Those will be a great layering option as well to add a little bit of edge and a little bit of fun. Before we get into the rest of the wedding guest outfit ideas, I am super curious. Do you have a wedding coming up? Who is it for and what kind of wedding is it? Like I said, I am super excited. My brother's is a destination wedding. And honestly, the last wedding I had was at a church. It was very laid back, very intimate. It was my best friend from the Philippines. Her and her husband originally got married in the Philippines, but because they don't recognize that here in the US, they had to get remarried and it was this very small, very intimate gathering and it was so lovely. And her dress code was just to wear blue. So this is the exact outfit that I wore. Just a shirt dress with some heels. Very casual, still conservative and worked for the occasion. So again, let me know, do you have a wedding coming up soon? Where is it going to be and who is getting married? Honestly, if you're going to buy anything for a wedding, for wedding season, this next outfit idea is what I would recommend and it is matching sets. Okay, I know. I know it has me in the clutches because obviously, yes, I'm wearing a matching set today, but a matching set, you're gonna get so much wear out of. And the other alternative that is, to me, essentially a matching set, but more professional is a suit. I have always loved a good suit. I feel like it's so classic and you will find some that are really, really comfortable. I have this amazing pink one from Nasty Gal and this yellow one from Zara. And what I love is that these suits 
are functional like the material itself you can move in it it is stretchy and you're gonna look put together so a suit is such a fun not thought of outfit for a wedding guest and i feel like definitely the older generation might gravitate towards a cute little pantsuit but i feel like there's so many fun colorful suits that you can wear that they would make a great option no matter what kind of wedding you're going to in terms of tops to wear with your suits think breathable button-ups if you want to be a little bit more formal or a really cute silky camisole that's going to be super classic super comfortable and then you can accessorize right for whatever type of wedding it is a suit is a really great option but a matching set to me i'm obsessed with matching sets because they really are still as put together and still as i feel like professional kind of as a suit but they're just more casual they're just more laid back and they are more comfortable and i feel like functional and wearable so obviously i have this green one from pretty little thing which is actually what i think i am gonna wear for the wedding in november still not certain though but this is such a great investment because you are going to get so much wear out of it i have worn these as separates i have worn it together already for like a couple of different things and it's just so breezy so minimal effort you do not have to really worry about layering it's just all there it's everything you need and you can tie up the top to be however you want to tie it up i have this little short on my TikTok about different ways to tie up your matching set to create different effects. So you could rewear this same exact matching set tons of different ways and no one would be the wiser because you mixed it and matched it, you tucked and you flipped and you hit it with everything you need to hit it and it just, it's a vibe, right? It's a vibe and you're gonna be comfortable. A lot of matching sets have elastic waistbands, again with the top for sitting, for eating, for dancing. You cannot go wrong. The last outfit combination, I feel like this is more of an honorable mention, really is a top and a bottom. So either a top with some wide leg pants, again, disregard the white. These are the only really flowy wide leg pants that I have. Or a top with a skirt, again, disregard the white. So let's talk about the top and pants first. This is just easy okay and you can do so many different things you can have a cute crop top you can have a cute blouse you can have a cute camisole and you have these really billowy pants that will work for so many things great for a country wedding add some espadrilles have a cute little silky camisole have some nice pattern pants so fun so elegant and again you can layer how i mentioned with the dresses and the jumpsuits with denim jackets a cardigan a blazer whatever makes the most sense this is a class and you probably do have something similar to this that you could absolutely rock and look amazing for a wedding right and the same goes for the top and skirt it doesn't have to be a fitted skirt really think about just the occasion and where you're going and what makes sense you know the other option is this and again had to dig in the archives so wouldn't do the white top obviously but we have this fun purple skirt i have the floral accessories i probably would actually do a pink top to play with the floral accessories and the purple skirt and have a little more feminine touch to it a top with a bottom and again as long as you are conservative you can show a little midriff like that's not gonna like kill the vibes you know so you can have a cute little you can have a nice crop top or even a bralette with a longer top layered over it you can have the nice high-waisted pants that are comfortable you can move you can breathe in or the nice skirt it is a great great outfit idea that cannot go wrong and you probably do like i said have something like this that you have in your closet already that is it those are literally the no fail like i have seen these at all kinds of weddings watching tons of videos from other bloggers these are outfits they recommend these are the ones i've seen them wear to weddings themselves so absolutely no fail outfit ideas for your next wedding i'm so glad you watched all the way through thank you thank you thank you and the biggest thing i want to leave you with is instead of stressing about buying something new and what to wear and oh my god i need something new give yourself permission you probably have something you want to wear but you are afraid of people judging you for re-wearing something you own but girl it's okay to go yeah i still have this and it is okay to give them a reminder that you still look amazing in it so give yourself permission that is going to go so much further for you than buying new clothes giving yourself permission to wear what you have to love what you have find new ways to style what you have because that's going to help you grow your confidence grow your style and trust yourself like you need that trust and you need to give yourself permission and that's just going to go such a long way for building your confidence and really putting together the style that you love so thank you again girl for watching all the way through and i will see you next time with another video bye